said he's not supposed to be. This guy will move the way to big age. He's the one that mentioned it. Oh, so yeah, you know that's constantly being disrespected in front of everybody. Just because I can just say, okay, I feel like this is where you went wrong. And anyway, we can work that way because. She wants you to like, if I don't get it, I want you to get it. After the life eviction show, the families of Isis and Nelita gathered to discuss what Wani said regarding uh, the guys in the house not respecting their women like Sean does, and even mentioning Suge and Dofa. So now they gathered saying, like, is it that these guys don't have any other conversation when they are together? The last time it was Nellis as this time around is about saying, oh, they don't respect their women. The way Suge touched Onyeka's bum bum, smashed Onyeka's bum bum and all that. So now, Anita said she actually went to meet Wani in the kitchen, but Wani was cutting meat. So she told her she'll come later, that she wants to confront her and no one led to such conversation. And Anita, uh, Nelly was like, no, there's no need. Anita, why? There's no need to confront her. You know one thing with Nelly? Nelly does church or church or church but no workings. And this is the same person that when they were coming on stage, the first day they graced our stage, Nelly was the one promising us drama, not even Anita. And now you are telling Anita, no, no, no need to comfort them, no need to try to know what's up. But it's the same you that said that Cassia did not answer well when Ibuka asked her, about the whole Onyeka thing. Okay, you feel cast the answer where you now your own matter the <laughs> day on ground. You're saying no, no need for confrontation. No need. Why? Why do you want to have that gist with them? They've already gossiped us now, you know, stuff like that. But Anita said no, she just wants to. Now Anita now went uh, to meet Sean and Wani. After having that conversation, she came back and they were so eager to hear the feedback. So if to you the confrontation was not necessary, why are you so eager to know who said what and who said what? Like, you won't bother to hear the feedback, Nabi. But well, Nelly is here saying that if there is anybody in the house that wants to talk about respect, there is no even Wani. You that they've publicly disgraced. Everybody have seen that, you know. And then Anita told them that when she went to meet them, they mentioned cases where aside the switch smashing bomb bomb that Tofa at the initial time didn't just move to only Anita that Tofa moved to so many ladies. And Tofa is here saying this is something that happened in week one. Why are you still bringing it up? Like why are you discussing an event that happened before I and Anita became a thing? Is it how uh, how bored you guys are and so she said honestly he does not even get it that the one way they bust he said is the fact that you are with your woman and you people are discussing another person's another lady you get and Tofa said exactly because how will you be with your woman and you and your woman are comfortable <laughs> discussing another woman's bum bum now even though your woman said she should be reasoning well like why, why will you even be discussing another person's ass? And Nelly said it's insane because when he came to her to have that conversation, he didn't even see the need to apologize. He still tried to blame it on Suj for bringing that conversation. And that well, Suj already told her that initial week, it was part of what the guys discussed. So now for you, Sean, to be discussing it again with Wani, and that doesn't make sense now. And Tofanan told Suj, guy, it's high time oh, we corner this guy, ask him why they yarn like woman now. <laughs> I'm like, wow, Tofa Tofa, <laughs> is that really you? And Anita then turned to Tofa and said, Hope it's not today. And he said, No, 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 not today. Like, why is he not today? What are you guys doing in that house? Are you going to markets? Are you going to a business? Are you going for your daily business? What is keeping you guys occupied? That you can't go to day to day and trash it. I be people waiting for nomination to happen first. So you will know that, you know, <laughs> you're not in that person's bad bad list first before you now go and meet them and have a conversation. Why not be like Aneta that went immediately to know what prompted such a uh, speech? And to think that Suj and Tofa were saying, well, that uh, people are better repeat that open nomination or they want to utilize it, that these guys have given them something to work with. They, they, they will be even be the first to stand on that marked, red marked uh, lane and mention names of those that are putting up. Okay, now, 
you guys have heard the feedback why are you not using the same the same agility to go and meet Sean and be like guy what's up now why will you say such a thing why will you have such a conversation just steady cha 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 no workings well speaking of cha 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 Ozzy and Victoria revisited the whole Onyeka versus Cassia versus Victoria fight. But this time around, Victoria is telling Ozzy that being that the both of us, you consider us your friends, right? That what she expected from you is that you could have listened to uh, them as an individual and then find out who was wrong or right. And Ozzy said that's the problem, that he never even planned speaking to anyone. So no need even listening to the whole back and forth or argument that happened to know who was wrong or right. And that if he checks now, there will still be where the both of you are right on your own and wrong on your own. Even Handy shared the same opinion with Victoria. Handy told Ozzy that you could have individually on a one-on-one -on -one, tell them, tell each of them, oh, this is what you did wrong or this is where you didn't get it right. But Ozzy said the problem is not even what was said, that the problem is who was moved to first. And Victoria said honestly that she was even expecting Ozzy to meet Onyeka first and have a conversation with her before coming to have Victoria. And Ozzy said, what was even the need of Onyeka feeling, oh, I spoke to Victoria first, that you were the one that drummed for this war, that you literally came to the dining area and was beating your hands on the table saying, oh, that whoever did this should come out. That means you were summoning the person to come meet you now because you, you've already heard, you know, who said what. You beating, beating the table saying, oh, whoever did this means you're summoning the person. And the person now came as someone that was summoned and all of a sudden you're feeling you need to comforted be comforted or patted at the back. That one thing with him is that with him is tough love he doesn't want to make you feel all right he will tell you as it is well tj told ozzy that with the whole uh, question ebuka asked that onyeka is feeling vindicated though and ozzy was like i don't think there is any vindication you know and tj said based on the things that uh she was saying that victoria is acting like she doesn't like you but when that came out, it's painted her in the light that, oh, she likes you. Everybody now knows that she likes you. But he said, that's a business. What about your own? You're always saying two people, but when you point one finger, three is pointing at you. Nobody ever said anything about whether Victoria likes me or not. That the thing is, there is no vindication in that to me. What are you vindicating? Well, speaking of Onyeka, Onyeka was all alone upstairs in the dressing area. At some point, Suj, Nelly, and TJ had to go cheer her up. And Nelly started advising her, you know, not to cry again, that Chizoba definitely is rooting for her. So she should breeze up and know that the game continues. And showing weakness is not even good for a game like this. And, okay, look at you. And Nelly was like, look at you now crying. When Chizoba was there, every day, the both of you are fighting, quarreling at each other. Now, Chizoba never even reached house. You are already crying and from there you know they were just telling her things that would make her cheer up a bit but i don't think that even worked because she was just all alone throughout the night she also slept alone in the lounge together with tj i think they preferred the lounge being that the ac in their room i don't think big brother have been keeping the room temperature very conducive for them because they've been complaining on how the room is hot ac not on you know so I guess that's why they've been sleeping in the lounge because Onyeka slept in the lounge last night too after their Saturday night do. Anyways, that's it. And I'm looking forward to week eight. Let's see who will win H H, what the nominations will be like. No be by cho 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 cho. Big brother, please better repeat that open nomination. They should give it to us. Let's see those that have balls and those that are just good with making mouths. <laughs> Thank you for watching and happy new week. Bye. There was no ending to this. You guys feel vindicated? Yeah, that's a business. I don't think that there's any vindication because I said it. Vindication is not a 